Welcome to a new episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I've got two nice letters. I think this one contains sleeves with the logo, Timmy Talks sleeves. This one contains something special. It's actually not a magic card, but it's definitely magic related. Um, let's start with this one. Let's get the scissors going. So how's everybody's Sunday? I hope you're having a good one. I'm actually enjoying a nice beverage. There you go. Mm. Some nice apple cider that I found in my fridge. Ooh, here we go. That's it. So these are the Timmy Talk sleeves. I already have a um, hundred of them, but I wanted some extras. So I got some new ones. And uh, these you can actually order um, at a special website, yourplaymat.com. And in the description below, I have um, a link with a discount code. So if you use a discount code, I believe you get 10% off, 15% off. I don't know. You just got to check out the description below. There you will find uh, find the link. The nice thing is these are big enough to put like a double sleeved card in it. I can actually show you. Um, here I've got a sleeve. Here I've got a Timmy. Oh, wait, this is too big, so let me get a proper inner sleeve. These are the inner sleeves I use, by the way, some people ask. So these are the ones. Let me just open it up for you. Bum, bum, bum. So it's a nice, relaxing Sunday out here. I think after this video, I'm definitely going to go out, maybe, to the park. So here's a nice sleeve. But I first wanted to make my mail day video for you guys. So it's sleeved, right? This is my Tim. And oh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So I, it fits in perfectly. It's not too difficult. Here you can see the sleeve. And of course, you know, if you go to your playmat, you can also choose a different design, um, you know, but I assume you're a big fan of the channel. So you want to see this. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you can just choose any design and they'll mail it to you. And like I said, if you use my discount code, you got like 10% or 15% off of your order. So that might be worth your while. So just to demonstrate it one more time, whoop. So that's kind of nice. So I got a nice stack of sleeves, that's perfect. And of course you can also consider using outer sleeves to protect them. So this is the sleevey business that came in, but I have another envelope. And um, yeah, that one has something nice, something that I'm collecting, something that's related to Fallen Empires. And I actually made a video about it already. And you know, this is just another one to add to my collection. So here we go. It is a token and a special one. Look at that, so another kind of envelope there. You can already see it through, so you probably have an idea. There we go. So these are the kind of tokens by Citadel Gaming. You can see it here in the bottom. Oh, 1995 product. This is a comrade token. So when you have Humbert spawning bed, you make little comrade tokens and then you need these to kind of show them. These little 1-1 one -one comrades come out. Now you also, of course, have Watsi's Fallen Empire cardboard tokens that I have as well. As a matter of fact, I made a whole video on tokens. So if you're interested in that, um, I can definitely recommend you watching that video. There's probably a link popping up right now showing it to you. And um, here I have a little box with my Citadel tokens. I don't have all of them, so I didn't have this one yet. And I specifically look out for the ones that are in um, the Fallen Empire expansion. So this is the Thrall token that goes together with the Breeding Pit. And here you can actually see the other Camera token. So I believe there are only, are there only two? I need, I need to do more research before making these videos. Maybe there are three of these comrade tokens. I'm not quite sure. If, you, if you're if you sure about it, please let me know in the comments below. I'm, I'm, if I just check on the internet, I'm sure I'll find out. Anyway, these are two different types of comrades. What I find so interesting about it is a comrade is basically uh, a baby homerid, right? It's like a homerid baby. So here you more see a soldier and here you see a tree folk. So you don't really see the comrade token. So that's... Yeah, something kind of interesting. Like, for example, for this one, you really see the Thrall token itself. Um, I've got some more of them, by the way. Let me... Oh, yeah, this is a citizen token. 
I'll show, I'll show, you know what? I'll show the cards that are connected to the tokens. So they're all uh, from Fallen Empire is the one I have at, le have at least. He says, this is a Soproling, which is of course a huge, huge uh, theme in Fallen Empires. And then I also have, oh yeah, that's interesting. I have this Goblin token, which I think is super cool. And there are different ones. So this is definitely something that I am slowly collecting. When I see somebody with a Citadel token that I don't have, I'll ask what the price is and I'll probably get it from them. This one was 15 euros, by the way. So they are, they're quite expensive. It's not, he had more, also some tokens that I didn't have, but it's, yeah, I mean, it, it was a little bit too much. I thought, okay, let's just take it easy and just go for this one. And maybe in the future, I'll get another one if he still has them. Um, and then I also have uh, three of these, the Tetravite tokens. And somebody actually mentioned uh, to me, like, aren't these more like the Hive tokens? And, and maybe the design was left and they printed it on a Tetravite token. That's definitely possible because I do agree. They look more like giant wasps, if anything. But still, it's cool. It's the official Tetravite token from Citadel Gaming. And again, if you want to know more about it, check out that video I made where I talk about tokens and the history of tokens and magic. And I also discuss Citadel Gaming in there. Um, this is a nice one as well, a, a minor demon token. I really like the art. Let me just get this out of the plastic for you so we can have a closer look. I just, yeah, now we can see it properly. Just beautiful. You can see the little minor demons coming out of that pot, boiling hot. Yeah. What does it say here? Born of alchemy and fire. We thought them invincible. Well, they're not. They're just one once, but they look, they look pretty badass. They look stronger than that they actually are. But if you have a whole army of these, that is going to be brutal. And of course, they're made with the card from Legends, uh, Boris Devil Boom, I believe. And he's red and black. Super cool. Like, I still need to make a proper deck with that card. And I'm probably going to make a big EDH deck with that card. Like old school, of course. Anyway, um, this was my little meal day of today. Uh, thank you very much for watching yet another one. Um, and if you appreciate what I do, please hit that like button. Um, leave a comment. Share it on your socials. And of course, subscribe and ring that bell. Ich bin der Sommerkasse.